Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome here. This week, I stumbled upon a few mid-year review videos and people talking about the books that they are reading, how their year is going. And at first I thought, I don't really want to do that. It doesn't really, like, I'm not trying to accomplish something, you know, like, I'm not trying to reach a certain stat or read a certain amount of books. At first I passed it off. I said, I don't think that video is for me. But then I was thinking, okay, well, what are my goals for this year? And they are to, I guess, read slowly, remember what I read, pay attention, incorporate these books into my life. And reviewing could be such a great way to do that. <laughs> and so I thought I could review them how I want. And I realized I don't very often go through like the list of books I've read. Sometimes I peruse and it's fun, but not in a way where I'm thinking about the types of things I'm reading or even trying to remember bits from, from the texts. Uh, so I sat down this morning and I went through my, my list that I have for 2024 and I just noticed some things and I want to talk to them, talk about them with you. <laughs> Uh, where's my little notebook? First, I wanted to talk about a few of the bangers on my list. Now, there were a lot of good books. I would say most of them, very few were ones that I regret reading. And so the rest are pretty much great. <laughs> but if you want to see every book I read this year, go watch all my monthly reads videos because they're all there. Uh, but a few that I... Saw the li uh, when I looked at the list stuck out to me, oops, were firstly The Odd Woman. This was a book that I picked for my book club this month, so I spent a lot of time reading it. I really enjoyed all the things I learned in here, all the characters breaking down all the different, oh, my notes, <laughs> uh, breaking down all the different ideas in here. It was so, so, so enjoyable. Okay. Incredible. Highlight for me. I'll link the monthly read that this is in down below and you can get a bit more detailed push up in here, a bit more detailed uh, review of what's in that book and why I love it. But I want to get to the other ones as well. So The Odd Woman, I really liked. I also have been just re-falling in love Ooh, with the Harry Potter series. Okay, we all know it's incredible, but I've been spending a little extra, uh, some extracurricular time <laughs> with them, listening to podcasts about them and really learning about their structure and themes and symbols and getting so much out of them. And the last one is beside my bed, so it's not in this stack. I just don't want to get it. But the Harry Potter, incredible. Uh, and then a couple other notable mentions are two short stories. One, Air Bee by James Joyce, which, obsessed, okay. Number two, or, and the other short story was, oh yeah, The Machine Stops by E.M. Forrester. Okay, so I was looking through my list and these four things really stuck out to me. And I was like, oh, what is special about those four books that I think are, were really good and stories? And I realized that they were the ones that I had spent the most time with. They were the ones that I had listened about, like listened with the podcast. They are ones that I had taken lots of notes that I had reread. And I was like, dang, it really is kind of on me. <laughs> you know, like if there is a classic book and you can have preferences, but I, I just really have not come across many like classic works that I haven't liked or that haven't been worth it to read. And I think it just really, it really matters what you put into it. If you're willing to find those good things and to spend the time breaking down the, the story and really seeing what's there, it is so rewarding. And it really makes all the difference. 
And now the only, I don't even know if I want to bring this up. The only books on my list that I regret reading are the Game of Thrones books. We already know. I'm not impressed. I don't even own them anymore. If you want to hear more of my thoughts, I'll also link that below. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to give them any more screen time. But that was really the only regret on my list. The rest were all <sighs> great. And I'm so glad I read all of them. I guess a couple of the other things that I noticed were that I often don't give much heed to short stories or there aren't, they're not the first thing that I reach for. But having at least like a couple of my top ones this year so far be short stories uh, is really making me reconsider that and maybe reaching for more short story collections. I think it's just me being lazy because short stories take some work. You have to pay attention because every word in a good short story is there for a reason. So I think I've just been lazy on uh, that front. <sighs> but yeah, a bit more short story action. Uh, one thing that was missing was poetry. I, okay, I've been reading the Iliad, so that's verse. And, oh, but there really wasn't, like, poems, you can read, read a little poem a day. And just, I guess, okay, I read the Epic of Gilgamesh, too, which was also in verse. So I've only read really epic poems. But that is something I want to do more. Spend more time with poetry. My little review this morning really reminded me that, I mean, I just got to stick to the classics. If ever, unless a book is very strongly recommended or I just, I know it's going to be good, kind of, why would I risk it, you know? <laughs> There's so many books that I know are going to be good. And so I just, I'm going to continue to spend my time reading those and not potentially waste my time with other things that, that might not be good, okay? I kind of like the test of time. Uh, which, sorry for all the contemporary authors out there, but I don't know. I don't know what to say. All right, this little review has made me excited to keep reading. I It has just really reaffirmed my, I guess, reading of the Iliad. It's verse. It's slow. I'm reading it over three months. <laughs> uh, so I'm encouraged to keep reading this. And to not rush through, I always kind of, in my mind, secretly have kind of a reading goal or amount of books I want to hit. But this year, I don't care. And I'm going to read the big ones, and I'm going to read slowly, and I'm going to enjoy it. That is my review. That is my review so far. How is your reading going? Are you really enjoying the things that are happening this year? If not, what can you do to change that? Think about it. I need to go because <laughs> every single piece of my skin is damp with sweat. So I need to open the windows and turn the fan back on. So I'm going to get out of here. But thank you for listening. Happy birthday.